I'm Kirsten, welcome to my book Nick. Today I'm going to be talking about Just Don't Mention It, which wraps up our month of Mascom. It is the fourth book in the Dimily series. Dimily series was originally posted chapter to chapter, but then uh, consolidated into a trilogy. However, Mascom has gone back and written the fourth book from the point of view of the other main character. So it's all written first person, the first three books are written from the point of view of Eden who is a girl who moved from Portland to uh, California to well she, she just goes for the summer to stay with her dad her estranged dad who has a lot of work to do on parenting but doesn't seem to know it he thankfully is a bit less present in the this book because this book focuses on her stepbrother Tyler so it's all about his relationship with his parents and it's grim. It's the sort of book that has uh, helpline numbers written after the end of it. <laughs> Tyler meets Eden and is attracted straight away but feels like he can't do anything because even though they've only just met apparently that's how step siblings work that even though you only just met as an adult and there's no blood relation you can't do that thing and it's a bit silly really and they spend three books working that out so it's not surprising that he doesn't get there straight away. It's got a lot of fla flashbacks to Tyler's really horrible childhood and how much he tried to protect his family from all the horrible things that were happening to him but ultimately everyone gets drawn in because he was just a child and he had no, he couldn't, he had no control over what was going on, he couldn't do anything about it and in many ways that's really sad, I mean that's exactly why things like Childline exist and he meets a cop at one point who tries to get him to talk and it doesn't really happen so that's awful but it was also obvious from the first few books and seeing it all through Tyler's eyes is just heartbreaking um, it's just heartbreaking and then he, we have the flashbacks and the current day so you can see how Tyler gets into the state where he's at he gets into this toxic relationship with Tiffany who's it's not quite clear why she's like that she's just not very nice and although maybe there is a reason maybe the next book is going to be hers and we're going to find out why Tiffany's like Tiffany but somehow I doubt it so, so this book follows Tyler through his the dreadful things that happened to him and his huge huge failure to cope and then Eden arriving and really setting everything upside down and really kind of making him have to cope in a way and just just helping him really he's she's someone he can trust and that's a really big thing for him he's not really trusted anyone apart from his mum before but he does trust his mum and she is lovely, she's really lovely. She's one of my favourite characters through the whole books. So I'm really glad we've got to see more of her in this book. Uh, I hope there's going to be another, but I don't know whether there is or not. There's a sense of closure to this one, but there were three books in the original trilogy, so you could just have three books from Tyler's perspective. He went off and did his own thing in the second book, well, in, in between the books. So. We don't really know any of that. That would be great to see, especially the run-up to the third book where everything changes and everyone redeems themselves. That would be great. So yeah, if you like romances, edgy romances, with uh, a little bit of grimness, I suppose, then this is the book for you. But do start way back at the beginning with uh, Did I Mention I Love You? They're all really short books. They're all really engaging. It's really not a jewel to go read all four of them. And if you like YA romance, then this will probably be it. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.